<clears throat> Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We are live uh, with short notice. Uh, real short video. Um, not really worthy of making a whole video, so I figured I'd just do a live stream and talk to you guys. Ba basically, phase two, uh, phase two clones and B2 Super Battle Droids are now shipping, and they are going to be in stores the last day of February, February 28th. So that is pretty cool. Um, they are not shipping with the tanks though. The tanks, even though they were like the same wave, they're not shipping together. So if you pre-ordered everything, which I pre-ordered the tanks and the uh, phase two clones at the same time, I didn't get a shipping or pre-order notice or anything like that. Usually I get one of those. And that's usually the case if you pre-order like a whole wave of stuff all at the same time uh, to save on shipping, what they will do is they will, uh, you know, wait until everything's ready before they ship it. And I guess in this case, since they're splitting up the wave, those of you who have pre-ordered the whole wave altogether are probably going to have to wait. So you may want to consider canceling your pre-order and pre-ordering Phase 2 clones and the uh, B2 Super Battle Droids like today, um, you know, if if you can, depending on who you pre-order through, uh, because then those will probably ship first. Uh, they should be shipping this month. They're on the trucks now, should be in stores the 28th of February, which will actually still make that February date, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Now, what does that mean? Why is that worth talking about? Well, that means that they will be legal for worlds. And it also means that perhaps the tanks will not be legal for worlds. It all depends on when the tanks come out. The tanks are not shipping yet. They probably want them a month apart. Um, there are also a lot of stories about a lot of factories with the coronavirus that's going on right now. A lot of factories in China are shut down. And that could have some kind of production problems. Might not be on this particular wave, because uh, those should probably be on the boat by now, but it might be slow down with future waves. Um, so, yeah, um, it's really interesting. I, like, so I am really curious, hold on, I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit. This, is, this happens in live videos. There we go, my, my um, tripod is starting to fall a little bit. And I, it was on an angle and it was sliding, okay. All right, there we are. We're, we're mostly we're mostly back. This happens when you're live. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, so I'm curious about any of you guys have any has anybody got a uh, like a pre-order in process or any kind of early emails about the B2 Super Battle Droids and the Phase Two clones because I usually like is I, I a lot of times I'll pre-order from Fantasy Flight uh, or Asmodee now, uh, but. I usually always get an email kind of early, like saying pre-order in, in progress or pre-order shipping soon, you know, and that's, you know, I just on a, on a whim just decided to check the upcoming page and I guess they updated it just now um, or just recently. So I, you know, and I was like, oh, shipping now and uh, in stores February 28th. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know the, you know, next partial small wave of lead, uh, Legion is shipping. I, and I didn't want to do a whole video just based on this because uh, there is a live stream today. There's going to be new product announcements. There's going to be a new video coming later tonight. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and, and I just figured that this would be a good opportunity to do a live stream and just kind of, you know, sit down briefly, talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're watching this after the fact and it's not live. Let me know if you, if you kind of got stuck with the whole, oh, I pre-ordered everything. So now I'm stuck waiting until March for the other stuff to come out. Uh, because that's, that's kind of a bummer if that happens. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, if you order off of the website now, well, here's what I did. I'll tell you what I did. I just put another pre-order in for one unit of Phase 2 clones and one B2 Super Battle Droids. Just to see. So now I have two different pre-orders. Whichever one ships first, like maybe I'll cancel the other one. You know, um, usually if you pre-order this, like at the first possible day, once they set a street, street date, you'll still get them on or before the release date. But if you wait, and you wait until it goes until like late pre-order now, like once they've already shipped them to distributors, 
that's when you're not going to get it until much later on. So there may still be a chance to do it now. I already had an, uh, another pre-order in, you know, so I'm like, I'm kind of hedging my bets because, you know, I'm trying to get you guys an unboxing as soon as possible, hopefully beforehand, so you can get a close-up look at everything, so, you know, so you can see how it looks before you buy it. Maybe, maybe you won't like that the droid, uh, that, you know, because these are the, supposed to be like the first clones on a sprue, right? I think these will be the first clones that come on a sprue. Um, yeah, I can't wait to, you know, see how the Super Battle Droids get put together. I don't even think we've seen a production model of any of them yet, because all the ones we've even seen on a live stream, um, uh, on a live stream, the only ones we've seen on a live stream were 3D printed in-house. Um, let me see here. We've got some questions. Let me see. Hmm. Do I ever play X-Wing 1.0 still? Um, no. No, I don't. I actually threw my X-Wing 1.0 stuff away. Um... Let's see. Uh, if you don't mind, do you have a recommended product for first-time painters to get some practice before going to work on armies? Yes! Go to the dollar store. Get some army men. Army men. Prime those, paint those. It's a good way to practice. Costs you a dollar for a whole bag of them. That's what I would suggest. That's, I mean, that's, now, and, and that's, you don't even have to really, like, you're not going to get all the detail with all of the, you know, like, as you're not going to get super detailed minis there. Uh, but, yeah. Where did you buy your lightsabers? Well, all of these ones behind me are Star Wars Black Series. Uh, these are all Star Wars Black Series. Uh, they are, I think I got all of these at Think Geek, uh, which is basically the same company as GameStop now. What are you doing, Hera? My puppy's in here right now. Hi, sweetie. What you doing? What you doing? Nothing. All right. Um, but yeah, so all those were from Think Geek. I got, uh, well, except for this one, the yellow one is from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, that is the, uh, the build your own lightsaber at Sabi's workshop at Galaxy's Edge. And I've got some Ahsoka ones, but they're in a different part. Uh, most of these are about 150 each. Uh, the new ones that are coming out are over 200 each. And that's another reason why I say if you ever go to Disney and you go to Galaxy's Edge, it's worth it to build your own lightsaber. Um, so, yes. Uh, what's going on? All right. So, hey, what's everybody that's joining us? So, anybody who's joining late, um, I'm just going to recap. Phase 2 clones are shipping now. Uh, B2 Super Battle Droids are shipping now. Uh, they are street dated for 28 February. They are going to be in stores this month, which means they will be legal for Worlds which means they will be legal in all tournaments 11 days after the street late. So March, el March 11th would be a full 11 days would have passed. I don't know if it's March 10th or March 11th that they actually go full, fully legal for everything. But, but yeah, so if you got a prime coming up in early to mid-March uh, or any time after that, these will be legal. Um, if you, but they're not shipping with the tanks. Tanks are not shipping yet. So if you pre-ordered everything together, then you're going to get probably stuck waiting for the tanks to come out before they ship everything. Um, if you want two... Oh, wait, well, hold on. I'm looking at questions here. Sorry. Um, wait. Will you want two boxes of B2s to use all of the upgrades? Um, I, I don't... I think with the Phase 2s and the B2s, one of each will probably be enough. Um, especially if you've got the uh, Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Like, Well, I'll talk clones first. Um, the Phase 1 Clone Trooper upgrade pack gives a lot of the Phase 1 Clone Troopers a lot of the stuff that Phase 2 Clone Troopers get. Um, you know, as far as like a training slot, you can get that and cool things. Uh, the Phase 2 Clone Trooper has a, you know, a Z6 also, which is the same as the Phase 1s have. But they have a cool other heavy weapons guy that's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know how good it'll be in practice, uh, but it looks interesting. I, I, at least one of those. Um, for the B2 Super Battle Droids, one might be good enough too because you can still chain, you can still do your whole you know, B1 Super Battle Droid chain and just hit the B2 Super Battle Droids last. And you can still keep that mechanic going. So I think at least one of each. Um, any more than that is going to require some practice. I think there's going to be some builds that use a lot of B2 Super Battle Droids. I think there's going to be some builds that use a lot more clones. Um, you know, because the surge token that they get for free automatically that can be shared is cool. I just don't know if it's that great. And... I think we're going to have to see. I think we're going to have to see. Maybe future stuff will make that even better, like like for the tank being able to share. All right. Um, I'm, a little, I'm trying to get some more questions here. Sorry. Um, 
What about their product announcement today? That's not until later. Uh, so the, any of you guys worried about the new product announcements coming today? That is coming later. That's why I didn't make a whole full-blown video about this. Uh, they are announcing four new expansions today during the live stream. It's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. Uh, and, you know, we'll get that. I imagine there will probably be an article not long after the live stream ends. So I will try to bring to you guys uh, a video this evening uh, covering all of it. Uh, so in case you're not able to catch it, I'll try to bring to you the highlights. And we'll talk about all of that. Um, will the old models be done in new plastic as well? No. Uh, not any time, not for the foreseeable future. I mean, it, it's a possibility, but yeah. Um, I didn't, well, all right, so the question earlier about X-Wing 1.0, throwing that away. I didn't throw the ships away. I just threw away the cardboard that was only applicable to 1.0. I didn't need all that cardboard anymore. Um, what's going on, everybody that's joining um, uh, us this afternoon? I don't normally do live streams in the middle of the afternoon, but it was just at a weird time, and I was on my lunch break, and I decided, uh, that's why I don't have a geeky shirt on right now. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, I will um, be bringing you guys another video tonight, whatever they announce, but the, the big news right now is the Phase 2 clones are out, uh, are at least out for shipping. And they're all going to be out the this month, February 28th is their street date. And B2 Super Battle Droids, same thing. The tanks are not shipping yet. Um, some more Starhawk videos. Uh, yes. Uh, hello to Germany. Thank you for watching. Uh, there will be a lot more Armada videos. Um, I actually am planning a video about the Starhawk because I... Speaking of Armada, I really don't... Okay. I like it, right? Like, it's gorgeous. The, the thing I like most about the Starhawk is how big and beautiful it is. It's an absolutely gorgeous ship. Unfortunately, I hate everything else about it. I don't, I just don't like it at all in the game. I can't imagine ever wanting to actually use it outside of just the fact that it's beautiful, which is strange. But I have to think about that a little bit more. So I am planning a video to kind of talking about my loathing of the Starhawk, <clears throat> which is really strange because I'm a super positive kind of hype guy and like here's a ship I just don't like and I was so excited for it I'm like no no I don't like it um when is your next Battlefront video I have not played Battlefront in a long time I need to probably uh do that maybe they put a lot of new stuff out I think they put BB-8 and BB-9E in there and uh yeah it's strange to me how many updates Battlefront gets and how much like Star Wars and the Star Wars show talk about like oh the, they keep talking about the exact same game forever but they don't talk about any of the expansions and stuff that come out for X-Wing or Armada. Like, we have to get that, you know, at Legion. It's crazy. We had to, uh, like, campaign crazy to get them to talk about the Super Star Destroyer or whatever. It's very rare that they actually talk about, you know, fantasy flight games, tabletop games as well. Uh, all right, so I think that's that, That's about it. Um, I can take a few more questions if you want, but, I mean, there's going to be another video later on today. Um where can you get new order tokens? Every expansion. Like if you're talking about Legion, every expansion comes with order tokens. Do you reckon the little crab droids? I really hope they do. I really hope they have to do crabs. I hope they do crabs and they give them nunchucks. I think it's the first video you've seen me with nunchucks on, right? Is this the first time you've seen Crab with nunchucks? Yeah. I'm not going to swing them around because I'll break my camera or something. Or the lighting. But, yeah. You've got it right here. Crab nunchucks for Legion. Maybe it'll happen. No. Um, but yes, uh, so B2 Super Battle Droids and Phase 2 Clone Troopers are shipping now. Just updated. Breaking news! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. All right, and that's all I've got. Um, we are going to talk to you guys later. And um, what else is new? Uh, what else is new? Um, any of you guys going to Gen Con by chance? Because I got all that. Man, I had a scare yesterday. So since we're just chill and, and alive, I had a scare for Gen Con. Because um, I got a press pass for Gen Con this year. I'm not going to be working. You won't find me at the FFG booth. Well, I may be or hanging around there a little bit. But I'm not going to be teaching games for FFG this year. I'm going to Gen Con just as a, as a you know, as Crabox to go and, you know, hang out. Uh, so... So I bought my own badge, and then I found out, oh, you can apply for a press badge. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me apply for a press badge. Got approved instantly. And I was like, oh, that was great. Well, why did I buy a badge? And then, so then they're like, hey, you can, you should uh, apply for a refund uh, because you can't have two badges. And I'm like, oh, okay. 
Um, so like, I contacted customer support, like, yeah, no problem, we'll, we'll get this in motion. Well, then all of a sudden, I get this email, it's like, all right, today's your day to sign up for housing. So I had to go and you can only get a hotel through the Gen Con portal once you buy a badge. Once, you're, once you have your account, you can't just book a hotel because they buy up all the hotels in town. So there's no hotels that have a vacancy during that time frame. Was, you know, they all sell them all to Gen Con and Gen Con then disperses them. So I go on there, book a hotel, and I'm like, all right, good. Very next morning, we've processed your refund. And I'm like, now my badge is gone and my hotel reservation is gone. And I'm like, I still got the press badge, but I'm like, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Because both badges said the exact same thing. They both said press, so it was, it was really weird. Um, so I'm like, wait, wait, what, what, what happened here? My, my hotel reservation is gone. So I go back in there, try to rebook, everything's sold out. Everything, like Indianapolis, the whole, entire city, virtually sold out in 24 hours. So eight months in advance, which is, or seven months in advance. Awesome, freaking awesome. Uh, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna be uh, sleeping on the street, uh, you know. So, uh, so I'm, I, I, I was having a, a, a nervous breakdown because I'm like, well, I might have to stay like, you know, 40, 50 miles away and then like, you know, bus in or Uber in every day. And that's gonna cost a ridiculous amount. I don't know, you know, like maybe I just don't even go. So I get, I send emails and they're like, no, no, it won't clear out your hotel. I'm like, it already did. And then I had to get the customer service manager involved. And, uh, you know, I, I was on the phone. <sighs> anyway, it was, it was nuts. But we got it fixed and I'm good. How many should you get? Um, at least one, at least one. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I got to play them first. I will probably get two of each. I like to get two of everything. But I think in these cases, you could probably get by with just one. I think in these cases, you could probably get by with just one. Uh, I have, somebody asked about the Atari hotels. I have heard about the Atari hotels. Um, sounds kind of cool. Sounds pretty cool. Wish there was one in Orlando. I'd love to go check it out. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off, and I will see you guys later tonight. So stay tuned. And uh, I promised I wouldn't use my new catchphrase, radical. But I'm going to start using it a little more. Stay radical. <laughs> so stupid. All right. Uh, that's all I got. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day. Uh...